Hi guys, I'm Paul. In this video I'm going to explain how many Avalanche I think you'll need to be a millionaire. And stay watching until the end as I will give my detailed price prediction for the next bull run. I will cover Avalanche's supply and tokenomics as well as key points to consider and the future outlook for the Avalanche network. I will also compare Avalanche and Ethereum's ecosystems so keep watching to see which blockchain offers the best proof of stake technology. Just a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is meant for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Okay, now let's begin. About Avalanche. Avalanche is a decentralized open source proof of stake blockchain with smart contract functionality that can process around 4,500 transactions per second. Avalanche's aim is to be the preferred blockchain network for scalability, security and decentralization and it uses the proof of stake mechanism to help achieve this like its main competitor Ethereum. AVAX is the native cryptocurrency token of the Avalanche blockchain and is used to pay transaction processing fees and secure the overall Avalanche network. Avalanche supports smart contract functionality to run its decentralized applications and has well-established projects like Aave and Curve using it because Avalanche offers one of the fastest smart contract platforms available in the marketplace. Launched in 2020, the chain was built by Ava Labs and following its continued growth now includes Avalanche Foundation who oversees the overall development of the ecosystem. According to Avalanche's white paper, the goal is to be a high-performance, scalable and secure blockchain platform. What makes Avalanche unique is it doesn't rely on a single node to validate transactions. It uses a group of nodes which are called subnets and this means it is able to offer very fast transaction speeds which sets it apart from its competitors. Also AVAX token holders get to control and adjust the reward rate paid to validators on the network and the current rate offered by Avalanche is around 7.4% yearly. Avalanche's all-time high price at time of recording is $146. Avalanche Supply and Tokenomics Avalanche was launched with a total max supply of 720 million tokens and has a current circulating supply of around 344 million tokens. The AVAX token is primarily used to pay transaction fees and secure the overall Avalanche ecosystem and it was designed to be deflationary, meaning its circulating supply should decrease over time, therefore increasing its overall price and value. The way it does this is by burning tokens whenever a fee is paid on the network. And the term burning refers to when tokens are sent to a crypto wallet which can't be accessed by anyone. So therefore the tokens are lost forever. The initial distribution of Avalanche tokens are as follows. 50% is allocated to stake and reward. 10% is allocated to team. 12.7% is allocated to public sale. 9.3% is allocated to foundation. 7% is allocated to community and developer endowment. 5% is allocated to strategic partners. 3.5% is allocated to private sale. And 2.5% is allocated to airdrop. You can stake your AVAX tokens to help secure the blockchain and in return earn stake and rewards which are on average paid at around 7.4% annually, which is a good return on investment. Key points of Avalanche. Avalanche has several benefits that make it a great blockchain solution, including one of the fastest smart contract platforms. Avalanche achieves this by validating groups of nodes, otherwise known as subnets, rather than single nodes like some of its competitors. Avalanche Ethereum compatible. Avalanche uses the same programming language as Ethereum, which means it can easily run Ethereum based apps on its blockchain. Big partnerships. Avalanche has some big partners supporting the project, including Coinbase, Mastercard, Aave and Amazon Web Services. Decentralized. The Avalanche ecosystem is a decentralized platform which offers a strong security network. Avalanche versus Ethereum. When comparing the ecosystems of Avalanche and Ethereum, they both use the proof of stake consensus mechanism. But Avalanche uses a unique Avalanche consensus mechanism and a multi-chain architecture compared to Ethereum's single-chain architecture. This gives Avalanche greater performance and scalability. 
In terms of transaction speeds and high performance, as we mentioned early in the video, Avalanche wins as it can process up to 4,000 transactions per second versus Ethereum's 30 transactions per second. When it comes to reliability, I have to say Ethereum is a better choice, mainly due to the amount of time it's been around, so it has more history of reliability in the crypto space. This doesn't mean Avalanche isn't reliable, but its main USP is its high performance and speed. Decentralization can be judged by the number of validators Avalanche and Ethereum have, as the more validators a network has indicates less control by a single entity. Currently Avalanche has 1,200 validators, while Ethereum has 700,000 network validators, so Ethereum is more decentralized. Finally, when comparing Avalanche and Ethereum's gas fee rates on the blockchain, Avalanche wins this one with its gas fees on average only $0.08 cents, compared to Ethereum's average gas fee of $3.52. To conclude, when it comes to performance, transaction speed and gas fees, I think Avalanche currently beats Ethereum. But on reliability and decentralization, Ethereum is still ahead of Avalanche in these areas. Avalanche Green Blockchain According to the Crypto Carbon Ratings Institute report published in 2022, it provides data on the carbon exposure used by blockchains. Avalanche consumes the same energy as only 46 US households each year. And to put this in some kind of perspective, the report found Bitcoin consumes the same energy as 8.5 million US households each year. This puts Avalanche on par with Algorand, which is known to be an extremely energy efficient blockchain. The Avalanche consensus works slightly differently to most proof-of-stake competitors who use either the classical consensus model or the Nakamoto consensus model because it uses a fixed number of multiple nodes to verify transactions, making it quicker and less energy intensive. The Avalanche protocol only works when it's required so it doesn't waste computing power like in proof-of-work blockchains. The image shows how the Avalanche consensus compares versus the classical and the Nakamoto consensus protocols in areas including scalability, decentralization and green sustainability. You can see that the Avalanche consensus wins in all three of these areas. Overall, what I think Avalanche consensus does is combines all the best features of the classical consensus and the Nakamoto consensus to make it fast, scalable and green blockchain solution. How many Avalanche to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Okay, so before we look at the price prediction for Avalanche in the next bull run, let's remind ourselves of Avalanche's previous all-time high price, which was $146. This price gave it a market cap at the time of around $48 billion. With this information about the previous market cap and all-time high price, let's now look at the current market cap of one of its main competitors, Ethereum who Avalanche will be looking to take market share from in the next bull run. As we can see, the current market cap of Ethereum is 199 billion, and this is in the bear market. So during the next bull run, we would assume Ethereum's market cap will be higher than this, given its all-time high price was $4,891. On the conservative end of my price prediction, and not financial advice, but Avalanche could increase its price overall to around 86 billion market cap, which is still a lot less than Ethereum's bear market market cap and would give Avalanche a price of around $250. On my bullish price prediction, if Avalanche was able to achieve a $154 billion market cap, which would still not be quite as much as Ethereum's bear market market cap of around $199 billion, this would give it a price of $450. I believe a price of between $250 and $450 avalanche is possible in the next bull run. But how many avalanche would you need to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Using CoinStats, a crypto profit calculator, if we enter the current price and the predicted sell price of $250, we can see it would require an investment of $40,000 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. If we do the same again, but this time set the sell price at the very high end of our price prediction of $450, you would need an investment of around $22,300 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. At the $250 price prediction, you would need to buy around 3,996 AVAX, which is an investment of $40,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. 
at the very high end of our $450 price prediction, you would need to buy around 2,227 AVAX, which is an investment of around $22,300 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. Avalanche Future Outlook. I believe Avalanche has a lot of potential based on all the reasons given in this video to be a top blockchain, but it has some big compet competition in the crypto space with the likes of Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain to name just a few. What I think makes it appealing to investors is the unique Avalanche protocol it uses, which makes it quicker and less energy intensive than most of its competitors currently in the space. However, the most important factor moving forward is going to be if Avalanche can continue to grow and develop as it doesn't quite yet, I feel, have a big development team behind it that some of the other blockchains like Ethereum have, which gives them the edge. So it will be crucial Avalanche can build on this to ensure its future success. Avalanche partnered with Amazon Web Services early in the year and more recently partnered with Legitimate Technology, who work with Puma and Rock Nation. So this shows Avalanche is a blockchain not to be counted out just yet. With all this said, Avalanche has a very fast and environmentally friendly blockchain, which as the world goes greener, could really help it to stand out among the competitors in the market. If you like this video, I think you'll like this video next, and please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified when I post my next video. Thank you.